Hey, Pickens Physical Science students. So hopefully you have already logged into and created an account on explorelearning.com for our gizmos. Um, and you might see two different gizmos in the class list right now. Um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to start with slope and there will be a direct link to this in the, uh, um, in the Schoology as an assignment. And so when you click on the gizmo, it will probably launch right away, okay? Now, the other thing that you'll see in Schoology is I will have a link to these student exploration sheets, which are on Google. And so you can edit these and you will have your own copy created when you start to work on this. Um, it's very important that you don't go back and forth between this and Google Drive. In fact, this, when you open it up, will actually open up in Schoology. And when you're done with it, you'll wanna click on the top right somewhere where it says submit assignment. Now, what I'd like you to do in the video is I would like for you to, as you watch this video, to look at the prior knowledge questions here, okay? And treat these almost like a warm up for the class itself. And so you want to read the description about Beth hiking up a trail, okay? And she choosing either trail A or trail B. And you want to think in general about which trail do you think would be more difficult to hike up? And you want to explain your answer to question one for warm up question two, okay? So you want to do those. There's a couple different things you could be thinking of when you're thinking about which one is more difficult to hike up, but I do want you in particular to be thinking about slope and what you might already know about slope, okay? Now, for all of these gizmos, whenever we have an exploration like this, we'll typically do these prior knowledge questions as a class warm up, and we'll discuss those answers in class, okay? And then the gizmo warm up, we will also do as a class, and this is to help you get used to what the gizmo is asking you to do. So notice that in the slope gizmo, you can find the rise, run, and slope of the line through two points. If you hover over a point, you will see its X, Y coordinates, which describe the location of the point. So notice this blue point here, if you hover your mouse over that, you see that it is at three for X and three for Y, okay? To move a point, you can drag it freely on the graph. To vary a point's X or Y coordinate individually, drag the sliders. And to enter a specific coordinate, click on the number in the text field, type a new value and hit enter. So try all of those now. Go ahead and grab one of these points and try dragging it around on the graph, okay? Notice that with this gizmo, with this activity, we only have integer values for the Xs and the Ys. But in reality, you could see different values for these in science labs, depending on how you're measuring things. Notice that the blue point here is described by X2 and Y2, and that that's the blue sliders. We just dragged the point around. We could also move where it is by dragging the slider, okay? Notice what that does to the line. I'm just changing the X now. We could also change the Y Notice what that does to the line, okay? The other way to do this would be to highlight a field here, type in a number and hit enter. And that's also how you can go directly to a single value. Uh, drag the red point and the blue point. So we want the red at two, one and the blue at five, seven. So two, one and five, seven, two, one, right? And five, seven. Would you agree those are the coordinates? Two, one, and five, seven. Turn on show rise and run. So that's the checkbox here, okay? And it'll show you the rise and the run between those two points. Uh, da, 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 da. Vary the y1 and the y2, okay? This will move the points vertically. So if you change the y1, what happens to the rise? If you change the Y2, what happens to the rise? Okay, two, one, and five, seven. Um, 
and you want to explain these, right? So how do you find the run between two points? Vary the y1, y2, run, rise, rise, run. How do you find the run between two points? Well, between these two points right now, the run is three, correct? So no matter what you do to the y, the run is always three right now because the x is always going from two to five. The second x point is at five. The first x point is at two. So the run here will always be three, right? Can the rise be negative if you're varying the y's? Yeah, sure. The rise would be negative when your second point has a smaller or more negative y value than the first point, right? Notice what the line looks like there too. The line is looks like it's going down as you go from left to right versus going up. So make sure you can explain those in the boxes. Vary the X1 and X2 sliders. This will move the points horizontally. So if I move the X2, X2, okay, and X1, and X1, then I can see what that does to my plot, right? Very x1 and x2. How do you find the rise? Well, now if I'm changing the x's, my rise doesn't change, right? The rise right now is six, and it's always six, no matter where I put my x values for those points, right? Whether those x, whether the run is positive like it is now, or whether the run is negative like it is now, the rise is always six. So that's the rise, okay? Can the run be negative? Can the run be negative? So when you're looking at these points, is the run negative right now? If my first point is the red dot and my second point is the blue dot, then I'm actually moving backwards on the x-axis, right? That means the run there would be negative. So you wanna be able to explain that in words as well. So typically this page, the prior knowledge and the gizmo warmup is the stuff we would kind of talk through together as a class, okay? And so now you wanna go ahead and do this on your own. And then at the end of the video, I'll post answers for what I would have put into these spots, okay? And you can compare your answers for that. What you would typically then do in class in a small group, but you wanna do individually now today at home, is you would work through the other activities that are below that first page. Notice there's just two pages here, okay? And you wanna make sure that you're always getting the gizmo ready by doing what it asks you to do, okay? And then you want to um, do the things that it's asking you to do down here. Now in Google, what you can do is in the gizmo, graph an example of each line described below, then click graph and edit to sketch each line on the axes to the right. For each line, tell how the rise and run compare, okay? So it has a rise of four and a run of four. So rise of four, run of four. So you would be trying to get it to have a rise of four and a run of four, okay? Something like that. You cannot do this exact set of points to get your rise of four and run of four, but this is my example for you. Now over here, to sketch that line on the graph, you wanna to click to see the graph highlighted like this, and then you can click on edit down here. That will take you to a drawing and you can choose a line segment, okay? And on that line segment, then you would try to click, Something like that. Not with that extra one. And then when you're done with that and you could make that longer, you could make that bigger maybe. Oh yeah, okay. So you could go from corner to corner just about, right? Although you can't use the same two points that I did. 
if your line goes through the origin, that's what it would look like depending on the two points you chose. Then when you click on save and close, it should update this graph with that line, okay? And then of course, after sketching those in, you wanna go ahead and label them here. Now it would help when you're doing this, when you're drawing, if you can choose a different color maybe. Um, doesn't look like it'll actually let you choose a different color. So it'll all be the black lines here, okay? And then you work through, you do the things that the sheet is asking you to do, and you answer the questions as you go. And then you're gonna look at sign of the slope, okay? So this first activity, it might seem like more of a math kind of activity, but we're gonna be looking at a lot of graphs, especially as we look at motion, and we want to understand the parts of those graphs and slope is the first part that we're going to try to work on understanding. Okay. Um, as you work through this, think about real life situations where you might be describing slopes of things and how the steepness of the slope or the value of that slope um, is related to real physical things, just like Beth walking up a trail. Okay. That's what you want to be trying to connect this to as you work through it. And again, if you have questions, you can catch me online today at 1030, specifically for physical science. Okay. So I would expect that uh, creating an account today and then uh, completing these exploration sheets today are two of the three ass assignments for you. The third assignment, again, will directly link to this because notice that if you scroll down below the gizmo, you will actually see assessment questions. These assessment questions are basically like practice quiz or practice test questions. And it's always five, and you'll always get credit for completing this. And if you get all five correct, you can actually earn some bonus points. And so you wanna do your best when you answer these questions. And any questions that you get wrong, you wanna look over the, the explanation that's on here for why the answer is wrong and what the right answer would be and think about why you got your answer wrong and why the right answer would be right, okay? Um, so again, first assignment today is creating the account. Second assignment today is completing these uh, pages of the worksheet. And the third assignment today is after you've completed the worksheet, you want to answer these five assessment questions for completion credit, but you can get bonus points if they are all correct. Okay, good luck. And again, remember, you can jump into WebEx if you have questions.